Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing some average gameplay. And before we get started, I noticed that, um, I know for a fact that somebody is going to point out the fact in the comments why has he not spent his platinum. The reasoning is because I'm actually working on a setup for the Almaid. What I think I'm going to do most likely is I'm either going to put Gendarme and Karaziers or I'm going to put Gendarme in Cyclones. So I'm going to first replace the Retaliators because they're weak. Their vengeances are quite powerful as you've seen in my previous videos. But um, So yeah, this is, that's basically what that's all about. I'm going to go into the battle right now. Like, this is going to be some, like, invader gameplay, because I didn't really properly feature the invader or the Fenrir. I kind of mashed into one video. So, I want to show you, like, the full potential of this when I'm focused on playing the invader. So, um, let's wait for it to load here. This is the, th see, this is the thing with Steam. It takes forever to load. And it's because there's less players on it, and Steam isn't, like, a global platform thing. So I'm surprisingly not going to start with the invader. I found a new strategy that seems to work well. And that is to start with the leech. Because this and the scorpion are my fastest robots in this hangar. I could put my phantom out, but I'm not replacing my leech. This thing, I don't think I'll ever let this leave my hangar. And I'm not replacing my scorpion. I need both of my ouchuns because I'm currently on a task that is kill 40 robots using space tech. Ouchun is space tech, and I'm at like 20, so I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna get rid of them until the challenge is done. Then I believe the next one will be defense conglomerate that you have to kill 40 robots with, so that'd be my invader and my nightingale. And then the next one. I uh, forget what that is, but I know for uh, Evo Life it'd be my Leech, and for Yandi it'd be my Scorpion. I think one other one of my robots. Like it'd be, oh yeah, Evo Life would be the Phantom too. Evo Life, whatever. Let's see this? That's why the Phantom does so well against the Leech because you can really make a Leech use its ability, waste its ability, and I fell for that. That was a mistake on my part. Hopefully this guy down here doesn't take the opportunity because I think that they can like tell when you're trying to reload. With this recent update you can see it when opponents are like reloading. Like you can see the animation. Come on. Get this kill. You aw. Okay so this is going to be an easy kill right here. I'm just doing this because I can tell for a fact that there's somebody behind me shooting at me. And I believe it's that scorpion that was crawling around there earlier. But what are you doing? Oh, well, death isn't... Death isn't necessarily a definite article. No puns intended. Wow, that, those are some high-level magnums to have done that. So now we're going to start in with this. So he's going to try and get this beacon... So if I can suppress him, and then I have little bullet head behind me here, that nightingale is going to be a problem also. A very large and irritating problem. I hate nightingales. Okay, you suppressed me. You totally suppressed me. Just fly away because you're so sure that you suppressed me. Alright, we're getting this beacon. Not bad, we got an Al Quang. I feel like the Al Quang actually got better recently. So, now this is going to be an issue. Hopefully that titan doesn't see me, that kid. Oh no. Please don't have good weapons. I believe he had punishers, which are okay. This is from Adrian Chong's clan. BR. B. Yeah, those have to be maxed out. Oh, no, they're not. They must be, like, level, like, 10. Because an invader's really tanky. I always save my... Oh, okay. Well, how did you get here now? 
thought that was a scorpion. Jeez, how did you let a Fenrir get that close? That's a very fatal mistake to let a Fenrir that close to you. I might as well not even teleport back because he's right next to where I teleported from in the first place. There we go. I'm going to invite that BR guy to a squad, because Adrian Chung is one of my favorite YouTubers, and I want to play with somebody who is in the same clan. I swear, I shall end you where you live. What? I shall end you where you stand. It's not, I won't. Alright, so we're going to go in with a weaker outrun first. It has more health, but it's slower. It doesn't have an, I swear to, stop blocking me. Oh, it's a nightingale, so I'm going to shoot at it. Uh, die. There's no possible. I was gonna say, if you steal my kill and prevent me from getting that quest, I've had that happen like 20 times since that quest came out. I should be done with it, but we have kids who have shock trains stealing my kills. No, literally earlier, there was this leech with four maxed out shock trains stealing literally everybody's kills. They got like 20 kills and did like. 10,000 damage, not 10,000, like 100,000 damage. And it's like, well, you can tell how hard they worked for that. What the? Happens every time when I try to fly, my outrun glitches out really bad. Yeah, bud, you ain't going. Oh, I was gonna say, just please don't let that be an enemy titan. Because we need to get this beacon back. Beacon back. Beacon back. Beacon, beacon, back. Okay. That's gonna be an issue. Well, geez, flamethrower, it'd be nice if you, like, worked half the time. No, like, I think that's it happened in a lot of my videos, even you guys have seen. You fly, and you're literally aiming directly at them, and the flamethrower does nothing. It just sits there and does nothing. Bud, what are you doing? I have a last stand on. Oh, you took away my last stand. Oh, who cares? I still have my titan. Ow. Ow. See, the thing is, I, I don't know if this is a glitch or it was done to make it because not all the factions have a Titan, but the Al Ming is space tech. So, I think, so, when you get kills with the Al Ming, for some reason it doesn't count towards the challenge, even though the Al Ming is space tech, and I have a logical reason behind that. And that's because there's four Titans. The Kid and the Arthur are DSC. Bauming Space Tech, I believe the Nodens is Evo Life, and the Minos, I believe, is Yan D. So, the other faction, I forget the name of it, it's the one I forget the name of, um, doesn't even have a Titan. And so, I think they did that so that way that they're kind of, like, not one is harder than the other, because then it would make that one challenge harder to do than the others. Or it's just because it'd make the challenge too easy, because it's really easy to get kills when you're in Titans, especially ones like the Arthur and Al Ming. <laughs> the Al Ming has the most firepower of all the Titans. People sit there and like are like, the Nodens is the best Titan. No, it's not. I've killed hundreds of Nodenses. I'm terrible at doing a British accent. I'm sorry if you're a British person and watching this. No, that's not even British, that's Australian. I'm sorry if you're- I, I'm just sorry in general, I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, or in general. I, I honestly don't even know what- no knowledge is. Uh, see, watch this. This is gonna be a fun, fun time. Look at his health! Ha! Ah, yee, yee, yee. Oh, okay, so you think you can win because su suppression will not save you. Except that might. Okay. Yeah, it was looking good at the beginning there, and then they turned that battle around. Zippity zinchel boochel. I don't know. 
basically know what I'm doing with my life. Right, I want to invite this guy to his squad, so hang on. I need to stop talking with a British accent, like, actually. Battle history. It's the BR child, so. Where is it? Hey! Boy! Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Lucas. I believe he's the only one. Who does he even have, anyway? I believe he's pretty good. So he's in the same league. So this should be a pretty even out battle. He's the guy I killed with the carnage. Oh, uh, yeah, he's the guy who really did terrible. Yeah, I can guarantee you, okay? I mean, like, last week, um... There was this Bronze League player who was talking down to me because his hanger, his hanger had a Vityaz, a Griffin, and then a Tasha. He was talking down to me because apparently I spent thousands of dollars on the game. I can tell you right now I haven't even spent 400 bucks on it. I haven't spent 300. I haven't spent 200. I probably haven't even spent 100. Well, obviously, he doesn't want to respond. And the reason, another reason why he's talking down to me was because I dropped in with my Ao Chun, okay? I killed two of his robots with that Ao Chun, two out of three. And then I let him kill me, and he goes, yeah, get wrecked, you noob. Yeah, you should be calling me a noob. This is what War Robots is turning into. It's turning into Fortnite. And it's getting terrible. This right here, I think, is the biggest ripoff I've ever seen. $30 for a Nodens. That's not bad for the Alquang. The Kiri Azure, that's a ripoff. 1,000 gold, that's not bad. That one's not bad. That drone is a ripoff. That. The Platinum is all ripoffs. Never buy Platinum. It's just a ri it's just a ripoff. It's That's what it is. It's just like a ripoff. So, actually, I think I'm going to try a different setup on the Invader. So the invader can double up as a tank and a camper because of the fact that it can also use its jump to escape situations. So, I'm not actually going to change the robot here. I'm just going to take these weapons off of here. I'm going to try them on the invader because I kind of want to see how the invader will do when it comes to, you know, missiles. Because, um, something you don't see every day is people putting long-range or camping setups on things like invaders. Like, yeah, you see that on Rakers, like Dragoons and Marquees and things like that. It's like, yeah, you see that, but, like, not stuff like on an invader. You wouldn't see, like, a Hussar and Marque. It's like... You know, if you know what I mean, like, you wouldn't see stuff like that on an invader. Typically, there's, like, storms and gusts, um, atomizers and quarkers, maybe, like, shredders and pulsars. Stuff like that. Yeah, as you can see, it's being upgraded again, because I like to get my robots up to, like, level 7 so they can have extra modules. Except for my leech. This leech is never going to be disappearing, because this was the first very good bot I got. Actually, this was the first good bot I got, and then I got the Kumiho. This was, like, you guys even remember, that was back before I even started my channel, like, before I got my mic or phone even working. That was back the first time I started spending money on the game. So I'm gonna stop rambling on, because it just wasted four minutes. Obviously, the BR flibbity flab isn't gonna join, so... I don't know. <laughs> Wait a second. He can't be in Adrian Chong's clan. Steam players can only play with other Steam players. Now, I know the BR clan is on Amazon. Android, I mean. So, that wouldn't be possible. It's not the same clan. Or otherwise, something's like weird going on, or they updated the game to be like multi platform or something, because it's like he would be playing on Amazon to be in that clan. Last time I checked. 
Uh oh, how unfortunate. Wow, would you look at that? Now that's a hacker and a half right there. Uh oh. It's a clan of these maxed out ones. I know exactly who these people are, and I keep encountering them, and screw it. This makes me mad when this happens. When you get, and then it's like, oh, well, what are you mad about? It's just you gotta have skill. It's called level 9 weapons don't compare against MK2 weapons. So, let's, uh, try, let's try it again with a squad. I honestly wanna, I'm, I'm kinda curious as to what's going on here with this BR child. Lucas. I mean, it's the same, like, font, so it's like, oh, these names maybe maybe we just gotta keep inviting them, I mean, I'm not gonna be doing that because it's just gonna I believe that's like the fourth Lucas I've seen today. Is this guy like one of those people who just has like a bunch of people hired just playing on iPads trying to like win giveaways and crap? I mean, if you have more than one device, uh, more than one computer. And you have your Steam account logged in on it. I mean, you can play the same game on more than one device at the same time. Okay, so obviously, let's be annoying. Because I want to find out what's going on here. Like, I actually want to know. But you, you don't, you shouldn't be rejecting this, okay? Because I have much better robots than you. You should be honored. I know you're from the BR clan, and you might have one of the strongest YouTubers in the world on there. I, you might, I, I highly doubt that it is the same one, but that doesn't mean you have the right to reject my invitation. I mean, it does, but, like, you shouldn't, because, like, you know, a normal person would be happy to join a squad with somebody with good robots. <clears throat> That's how I met Eng. Yeah. Yeah, I told you, I said, why is it that I have the feeling that he went offline? Alright. We're just gonna go to battle. I'll be trying, by the way. I'll try. I mean, not try. I, I, I'll try. <laughs> that is a terrible setup for the Arthur. That would be a good setup for maybe the kid or the Nodens ruptures and the Tsar on the kid. But for something like an Arthur, you'd want like something that is either you would want retaliators or vengeances, or you'd want gendarme and karaziers. And for an Ao Ming, you really would want gendarme and karaziers, and you'd want um Mm, what was the other one? Cyclones and Cataclysm. I, I just get these weird things where I just can't think of, like, anything. Besides, like, my own... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know who I am, but I know my name. Because I am Johnson. Oh, more MK2. Oh, would you look at that. So, as you guys may have noticed, I'm also not a part of the clan Bulk and Wolf anymore. <laughs> I'm now part of Engman's clan. You missiles really can't do anything, can you? Oh my god! MK2 Tolumbus! You, my friend, must like explosives. We can escape this pit. The pit of pits. The pit of pitness. Oh, it's the griffin. The griffin child. Shooter beast. 
Bruh! <laughs> Suppression doesn't do anything against this, because, like, literally by the time I'm done reloading, the effect will be gone. B B B B R R R B R B B B R R R. Yeah, that's the guy who has maxed out Griffin and maxed out weapons on the Griffin. No, I. You know what I bet he is. He. I can t guarantee you, he's one of those people who's like, well, okay, so he's in a lower league, and he's like, all right, so I really like this game, so I'm just gonna spend thousands of dollars on the robots that I already have. So he takes like Natasha's Griffins and Leos, and maxes them out. And then, like, 15 minutes later, he sees, like, some other good bots in combat, and he's like, There's better bots than this? <laughs> That's gonna be what it is, I can guarantee you. Bud. 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 You need to eat at sub what? You need to eat at sub what? <laughs> sub what? New restaurant. Sub what? Sobble bobble. Wait, do Columbus missiles do that? And his pins are maxed out. Like I said, he's probably one of those people who's just like, I have the best bot in the game. It's a griffin. <laughs> I can jump. I'm gonna max it out because it's better than anything else you ever see. And then, like, an owl ming or something comes in. Oh, crap. <laughs> The Griffin used to actually be really good, too. I remember in my old account, my exact hanger, I still remember it vividly. Raijin, Fusion, and Rhino, which were most of the best bots you could possibly get. And then I had a Griffin and a Leo. And I believe the Leo had the most health out of any robot in the game. That and the Raijin had, like, the most health. I'm just sacrificing this at this point because I'm getting sick of running in circles. I want to actually deploy something that can do something. I mean, that one punch out chun, don't get me wrong, it has potential, but those weapons are only level 5. Generally, I like to have all my weapons at least up to, like, level 10. No, I, don't, I only have one weapon up to level 10. Like, maybe level, like, 7 or 8, I like to have everything. Bud, I can just lock on to you. What are you trying to do? You're just hitting yourself worse with every chance you get. Even the damage over time does damage to- <laughs> I love it. I was like, I'm gonna kill this leech. It, it may be the same robot, but I got stronger weapons. 15 seconds later, it just burns up and falls over. I like that paint job. I really would like that. But my- See, frozen leech can't have paint job because it's- <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining because it's more durable, but I mean, like, why does it, why, why, why does it have to bully me and not have paint job? I swear, you are so annoying. Go away. Whatever, I have a, I have a counter to the Ravana, so we good. The Ravana doesn't have many counters, but let me tell you, any robot that can teleport is a counter to the Ravana. Any robot that has the dash ability is a counter to the Ravana. Any robot with stealth, except for the flying robots, is a counter to the Ravana. <laughs> and now, we destroy this Falcon. Okay, well he's actually putting up more of a fight than I thought. Young lad, stop resisting! I have the high ground, I'm kidding, I'm shorter than you. Oh, I remember you. I remember squatting with you. Don't you remember who I am? He has everything maxed out. He has, like, one good bot. He has two good bots. It's a Falcon, and I believe he has an Alguang, and they're maxed out. And then he has, like, a Griffin, another Griffin, and, like, a Leo. And his Titan's just a kid, I think. Ow, Quang, bro, your leg's about to fall off. He's <laughs> just walking, and his leg falls off, and then it just, like, rolls across the ground and starts, like, spiraling across the ground instead of flying. Just, that would just be so weird. You know what I notice with flying robots? When their legs become damaged, they walk slower, but their flying speed isn't decreased. 
Magic. I'm joking. The only, I mean, that is true. Their flying speed doesn't go down when their legs become damaged, but it's not magic. It's just called, like, common sense. What would their legs have to do with them flying? Besides maintaining balance and, like, having an extra thrust. I mean, like, seriously, though. And as I say that, I realize, wait, that actually doesn't make much sense. Talk about dragon robot. Never mind, it's just one dragon robot now, because that one's laying on the roof of his building. I mean, hey, the any dragon robot... The only flying robot that's not from D DSC is the Haw is the Nightingale, the Hawk, the Dragonbots, the Griffin, the Hover, the Raven, the Kozak, the Natasha. Those are all space tech, and I think those are actually all of the space tech. Oh yeah, Meow Ming. I know the Invader and the Blitz are DSC. And the Raker, I believe, is that third faction that I can't remember the name of. It's like I said, like, right as soon as I'm done with the video, I'll think of the name, and it's like, Oh, well, why don't I just go back and reanimate the video? No, that's not happening. I already had to record this video twice. Oh, I wasn't gonna make Whatever. I'll just explain. Basically, what happened again was I was recording the video, and the power flickered, and, like, it was, like, fought, like, right before this video it was i was recording the same video <laughs> like 15 minutes in the power went off this was supposed to be like a half hour video but it ended up being 15 minutes so i'm just not gonna upload that hey buddy why don't you come in and fight me oh that's gonna be an easy kill that fury if i can actually hit him but i don't think that kid likes you using him as a shield why don't you just take a little step out behind there real quick well, there was no point in flying anymore because talent. I mean, really, there wasn't any from the beginning because it's not like the retaliators do anything. Why is it that I feel like in like five years when this game? Because like this is exactly how Minecraft was. It was like not popular at all for the first like six years of its life, and then it became really popular. At, like, 2014. So it was, like, the first four years of its life. That's kind of how War Robots is. I mean, it's almost at a million players. It became somewhat popular, and then it became really popular, and it died. And then, like, one giant update came, and it became, like, really, really popular. And why is it that I feel like the exact same thing is going to happen to this game? Right now, it's at moderately popular. In, like, three years... Not even, it's gonna be like a year and like something just is gonna come and like somebody from like some really populated area is gonna play it. And it's gonna be like, wow, this is a great game, Jimmy. And like literally spread the rumors. Or then it's just gonna result in like 30 million people. It's become one of the most popular in the world. Then it's just gonna die. And then like some random update's gonna come that adds something like so minuscule that it's actually amazing. The aquatic update in Minecraft, when they added, like, the bamboo and everything. And when, no, that was after the aquatic. I see, I, I haven't played Minecraft for, like, a month now, so it's like I'm starting to forget how the cycle goes. I might. Coming soon. Minecraft, possibly. Anyway, what, what do we have here? Oh, 20, ooh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I actually, um, comment down below, like, what is your favorite robot, and what faction are they a part of, because I feel like players should have, like, um, a choice between the five factions, so, like, let's say, this is gonna be the wrap up the video, but this is just one last thing I'm gonna say to you all, um, I feel like there should be, like, a choice. So it's, like, what faction do you want to fight for? And each one will have its own kind of, like, series of quests daily. So, like, for example, like, Space Tech could be, like, fly for five minutes in total. 
So, like, throughout different battles. Because Space Tech has, like, the flying robots. So you have to just be in, like, five minutes of air time. So it's like, okay. And it's like, maybe for, like, DSC, they're kind of tanky. Like, most of their robots are tanks. So it's like, take a certain amount of damage. Or, yeah. And then, like, Evil Life, or, like, Evil Life could be, like, heal certain amounts of health. And Yon V could be run certain distances because they're fast and that other faction i don't even remember i know the rakers included and that's all i know and it could be like do certain amounts of like suppression and lockdown the cerberus is also a part i believe the pantheon bots are also a part of that the tier loki and fenrir which i have two of why is it that i get the feeling listen listen to this so this is actually logical, too. Listen. So they gave away... They didn't really give away. They had challenges for a Loki. They had challenges for a Fenrir, which were more of a giveaway. And then they had... And then those are two Pantheon, Pantheon bots, and there's three. So it would make sense that there would be another Pantheon bot giveaway. The tier. Like, actually, that makes sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for this video. See you all in another video. Peace out.